Aw oh, man, I'm so late with the the thing. The season's already been going for a while. Alright, before before we get into it, let's talk a little bit about the previous season. Um there was Death Parade. Death Parade was kind of mediocre as expected. Madhouse are great, but um given a story to do themselves, they sorta they sort of fumble it. I don't know. It's um the games didn't really seem to have any point. It was just a it was just a drama, an episodic drama, followed by like a serial, otherworldly, what is humanity drama, and then the, the game's there for no reason. I didn't really get the point of it. Um, there was Maria, Junkatsu no Maria, uh, the one about the witch who who um, has to protect her virginity or something. Yeah, I was really surprised by that because I said I wasn't even going to watch it because I was afraid it was just going to end up goofy uh, rape thing where everyone's trying to have sex with the witch. But uh, yeah, it actually took it really, they were really careful with it. There's definitely like sexual innuendo and stuff in there, but it's not, um, they're not as clumsy with it as I thought they would be. I thought it was going to be like, um, if anyone's heard of My Balls, which was um, an etchy manga about a kid who who gets um, the devil trapped in his balls and has to not um, ejaculate for a month so that he can stop the world being um, conquered by demons. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so that was just sending people to rape him constantly sending demons to rape him so i thought it was gonna end up like that but it wasn't even there was like one rape attempt in the whole thing and even then the guy didn't really want to rape her because she was a witch and in this world it kind of makes sense that these people who are uh, made to fear and think witches are the worst thing in existence also wouldn't want to rape them because as he, as the character said, his his thing would fall off. Um, so yeah, it was it was really actually kind of heartfelt and interesting. It was a cool setting. I was it was well done. What else is there? What what? Um, Rolling Girls was a disappointment. I I dropped it a few episodes in. It was all colorful and pretty, but it's just it didn't go. It was I don't know. It made no sense. It made no goddamn sense. Um, yeah, so that's it. So let's start, let's start it. Spring 2015. All right, so we got, um, Arslan Senki by Linden Films, an action-adventure historical manga adaption. Um, in the prosperous kingdom of Pars Lies, the royal capital of Ekba, Ekba, Ekbatana, a city of splendor and wonder, ruled by the undefeated and fearsome king Andargolaris. Arslan is a young and curious prince of Pars who, despite his best efforts, doesn't seem to have what it takes to be a proper king like his father. At the age of 14, Arslan goes to the first battle and loses everything as the blood-soaked mist of war gives way to scorching flames, bringing him to face demise of his once glorious kingdom. However, it is Arslan's destiny to be a ruler, and despite the trials that face him, he must now embark on a journey to reclaim his fallen kingdom. This sounds like the most boring, cliche, fantasy thing you could come up with. Just try. Just try. Please, just try at least. Um, uh, Baby Step Season 2. Y'all should watch that. I like Baby Step. It's a good show. I don't know. Battle Spirit's Burning Soul. This is an anime inspired by Bandai's Battle Spirits trading card game and produced by Sunrise. Ding! Um, the Battle Spirits Warring States era is on the rise. The institution of Battle Spirits administration has, a, has at least created a virtual system for spirits to battle in 3D. Thanks to this, the popularity of Battle Spirits has erupted all over the nation. Yay! All over... Rivalries like that of local warlords have broken out between champion battlers. The battlers have but one objective, reach the top in battle spirits, therefore unifying the nation. Now the unification of this world will be risked with battle spirits in the story of heated battles. Lurs. 
heated battlers who charge through this world of war. This world of war. Um, Dempa Kyoshi by A1 Pictures, manga adaption. Jin Ichiro, a young man obsessed with manga, anime, and games. He was a young genius who published papers in the journals Nature and Science when he was only 17. Then he discovered manga, anime, and games. However, after graduating college, he became a neat. Um, absorbed in his anime blog, unable to watch Kagami throw away his life, his sister, Suzune, gets him to work at the Ichijo Academy she attends. The head of the school's board, Koyomi Hiragi, assigns Kagami to his new life as a teacher. Um, so it's like about a smart guy who becomes a dumb guy who watches anime. Thank you. And then <laughs> becomes a teacher. Second season of Dia no A, Diamond No Ace, worth watching. Dual Masters v VSR, 11th Dual Masters season. What? What? I cannot find a goddamn synopsis for Dual Masters VSR. They just did not care. <laughs> um, next we got Dungeon Ni Di Wo Motomeru Wo No Ma Machi Gataru Daraka La Don Machi. Or in English, is it wrong that I want to meet you in a dungeon? Or is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Question mark. Um, commonly known as the Dungeon, the city of Arario possesses a huge labyrinth in the underground. Its strange name attracts excitement, illusions of honor, and hopes of romance with a pretty girl. In this city of dreams and desires, new adventurer Bell Crane, Cr Crane, Crane, Cranel, Bell Cranel, has his fateful encounter with a tiny goddess Hestia. Thus begins the story of a boy striving to become the best adventurer and a lonely goddess searching for followers, both hoping to reach their goals and perhaps have some romance on the side. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, that is some amazing boob technology right there. That's, what is that? She's like tied around the arms and under the breasts. That's incredible. I'm not gonna be watching that, but god damn it. Technology. Anime will never fail. Technology! Um, the hell is this? Eikoku Ike Nihon Otaburu by Fanworks. Um, based on the book which follows Booth, his wife, listen. And two kids, Angzer and Emil, on their 100 day trip to Japan as they try a wide variety of Japanese foods. Booth was inspired to make the trip by Shizuo Suji's book, Cook Japanese Cooking A Simple Art. This looks like some, some Cartoon Network shit. <laughs> if, if I can find this, I'm gonna give this a try. Um, Etotama by Shirogumi. It's a manga adaption. The uh, story revolves around Irosh Ido Shin. Ido Shin are the 12 divine messengers chosen from Ido Musume or Zodiac girls representing all kinds of animals from ancient times. These 12 divine messengers have protected the land of the rising sun. They are powerful beings who have survived through ETM 12. <laughs> what? A divine tournament held every 60 years and admired by all Ito Musumes. Fast forward to now, the present day, and the year ETM-12 will be held. Uh, from all over Japan, Ito Shin candidates, or in other words, Ito Musumes, what? Gather in great numbers. Within the, that group exists a single cat, Ito Musume. Her name is Nyatan. She is thought of as the one closest to becoming an Ito Shin, but it has, it, but is a misfortunate girl who always ends up undermined by evil rodents. What the fuck are you talking about? The only way to become the twelve do zodiac signs is to beat all of the Ito Shins. However, the power of the Ito Shins is so great, 
and no Ido Musume has ever won in the tournament for the past 2,000 years. When Niatan meets an ordinary high school boy, uh, Takuru Imado, the story begins. Well, of course, because the story can't begin without an ordinary high school boy. Are you insane? Why would you not? You got to start the story once the high school boy arrives. Because you can't have all these animal girls going to um, Zodiac Olympics without a high school boy. It just wouldn't work. The story would not work without a high school boy. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, no. Future Card Buddy Fight 100, which is a sequel to Future Card Buddy Fight. When was that? I don't remember any Future Card Buddy Fight. What is Future Card Buddy Fight? Future Card Buddy Fight. <laughs> <laughs> future card buddy fight uh i cannot find a plot synopsis for future card buddy fight gunslinger stratos the animation um by a1 pictures it's a video game adaption um ad 2115, the island nation once called Japan is now known as the 17th Far East Imperial City Management District. <laughs> uh, citizens were promised a life of peace in exchange for some of the comfort they were used to having. People believed their lives would never change and tomorrow will be the same as today. No one suspected the impending doom which their society was about to face. Degradation, a rare disease which led to the total disintegration of the human body to a mere pile of sand, was slowly but surely spreading throughout the world. Toru Kazusumi, an ordinary student, yay, ordinary student, becomes embroiled in a multi-universal battle between his world and the parallel world of Frontier S. Stratos. This meant that Toru must fight himself from an alternate world. Yay, to versions of ordinary student fighting each other. That would be a fun slap fight. Their futures collide as their paths cross. Will both worlds ever find peace? Wait, so you take an ordinary high school boy to fight himself in another universe, but he's a, like an ordinary high school boy. Surely he'll just start masturbating with his other self. That's a terrible plan. <laughs> Um, hello! Exclamation, exclamation. Karina Mosaic, season two. Uh, <laughs> um, Hibike, exclamation point. Euphonium by Kyoto Animation. Light novel adaption. Uh, the anime begins when Kumiko Ome, um, a girl who was in the brass band club in junior high school, visits her high school's brass band club as a first year. Kumiko's classmate Hazuki and Sapphire decides to join the club, but Kumiko sees her old classmate Reina there and hesitates. She remembers an incident she had with Reina at a brass band club contest in junior high school. Ellipsis. Is that it? Is that, is that all you gotta tell me? Hopefully it's not just another K-On, but I'll give it a try because it's KyoAni. Kyoani got some good animators, and I kind of I like it when they do cool animation. Um, Hokago no Pleiades, Pleiades by Gainax. Uh, Subaru is a young girl who discovers that her best father, her best father. No, wait, when, I read that wrong. I read that very wrong. <laughs> uh, Subaru is a young girl who discovers that her best friend Aoi, oh, Aoi. Ao Aoi? I always forget how to read that. Is part of a magical group trying to gather engine fragments so that a little being from Pleiades can return to his home. Wait, what? Gather engine fragments? Oh, for like an alien? Subaru considers joining them as she was chosen by the Pleiadian president of this after school club what that wasn't explained well they're magical girls in an after-school club helping et get home 
Ganax used to be good, man. I don't just want to fucking Ganax. Um, Jewel Pet Magical Change by Studio Dean, the worst studio in the world. Um, <laughs> the story follows the rabbit shaped Jewel Pet Ruby and the other Jewel Pets on their mission to restore the Jew Castle. Wait, Jew? Is it supposed to be Jew Castle? Are you just missing an L or is that G okay? Which had fallen from the skies into the middle of the town because of humanity's lack of faith in magic. In order to rekindle humans' magic believing, believing hearts, Jewel Pets transforms into humans and comes down to earth to study them. Whatever, dog. Kek Eye Sensen by Bones, a manga adaption. Let's see. Um, a breach between Earth and the Netherworlds has opened up over the city of New York, trapping New Yorkers and creatures from other dimensions in an impenetrable bubble. They've lived together for years in a world of crazy crime sci-fi sensibilities. Now someone is th threatening to sever the bubble, and a group of stylish superhumans is working to keep it from happening. That doesn't make sense. That wasn't, that wasn't a plot set up that made any sense. Kokaku Kidotai Arise Alternative Architecture, a TV anime version of Ghost in the Shell Arise. No. Someone's probably pissed off. I just know that Ghost in the Shell is shit. Pleb. Pleb. Kokai no Rene by Brains Base, a manga adaption. As a child, Sakura Mamiya mysteriously disappeared in the woods behind her grandma's home. It sounds like a fairy tale. Um, she returned whole and healthy. What? Okay, she returned whole and healthy, but since then she has had the power to see ghosts. Now a teenager, she just wishes the ghosts would leave her alone. At school, the desk next to Sakura has been empty since the start of the school year. Then one day, her always absent classmate, Rin Rakuto, shows up and he's far more than what he seems. Um, is he a ghost? <laughs> Don't just end with he's far more than what he seems. After telling me she sees ghosts, he's a ghost. Just say it. God damn it. Lupin the Third, 2015, by Telecom Animation Film. The story of the new series will take place in Italy and San Marino, and that's all you're willing to tell. You're just that cool, aren't you? You're just that damn cool. You don't want to actually give me a synopsis. Maho Shoujo Lyrical Note. Nanoha Vivid by A1 Pictures, manga adaption. Manga takes place four years after the JS incident, JavaScript incident, in Magical Girl Lyrical Nanoha Strikers S and stars Vivio Tamahishi, a fourth year elementary student at St. Hild Academy of Magic. Vivio has learned to conjure her adult form and has received her own device named Sacred Heart from Nanoha, and has promised Nanoha to never use either for mischief. Then a mysterious magical fighter appears and targets Vivio. No. Nah. Mikagura Gakuen Kumi Kyoku uh, by Dogakobo. A story of the original light novels and manga revolves around high school girl Iruna Ichin. No Mia, who enters the Mikagura Academy dreaming of boarding school life filled with beauty. However, Aruna finds out that in the in the culture clubs there is a rule that battles that are fought with special powers decide club's representative's treatment. Through various circumstances, Aruna becomes a representative of a club is, and is thrown into the fray. Why do they assume that I would know that if we're talking about a boarding school that it's going to have magic cuz i don't i don't understand the connection why are there so many boarding school magic things why would you go to boarding school if you have magic just go do magic i don't, I don't get people i don't get nothing i don't understand nagato yuki chan no shushite by saint light a manga adaption um a spin-off of the Haru... Uh, what? Spin-off of Haruri Suzumiya. 
No. 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 No Haruhi. No. Uh, it takes place in the world of the disappearance arc of the original novels, focusing on the high school life and rom romance of a tentative and bashful Yuki Nagato, quite unlike the one you've come to know and love. I don't know or love her. I don't care. There, no. No in love through the usual exploits of the SOS Brigade, but no less charming. She wasn't charming. She was just blank. She was a blank slate. As the shy head of the literature club, Nagato has a hard time recruiting members. Her close friend, Ryoko Asakuda, supports her in this. Drafting Kion, she eventually meets up with Rui Suzumiya. Sura Maruku Kuru Asahina and Itsuki Kazumi and has to put up with their hijinks while trying to romance Kion. Asakura seems ambivalent about the latter prospect. No! No Haruhi! No any Haruhi character! No Kion! No! Just no! Um. Ora Monogatari, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, by Madhouse Studios, manga adaption. Takio Goda is a giant guy with a giant heart. Too bad the girls don't want him. They want his good-looking best friend, Sunakawa. Used to being on the sidelines, Takio simply stands tall and accepts his fate. But one day, when he saves a girl named Yamaro from a harasser on, a, on the train, his... Love life suddenly takes an incredible turn, exclamation mark. I've actually been watching this. It's really good. I, I'm always, like, I'm always willing to try an interesting looking, um, shoujo -y, Sakura petals everywhere type of thing. And, and I've been liking this series so far. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually a shoujo. I'm assuming it has to be a shounen because they have sh thrown every shoujo trope under the bus like right away um there's no will they won't they endless waiting for something to happen um there are there are a couple now like within what was it like three episodes or but uh yeah i'm not only picking that up I'm, I'm watching it i'm going all the way through that season of aura monogatari and you should too madhouse know how to pick good things to adapt Owari no Seraph by Wit Studio. Uh, it's manga adaption. The story takes place in a world where an unknown virus has killed the entire human population except for children. Uh, Alright, so those children were then enslaved by vampires. <laughs> okay, why not? The manga centers on Yuichiro Hiyakuya, a human who dreams of becoming strong enough to kill all vampires. Hmm... Plastic Memories by Doga Kobo. Uh, it's an original. The story takes place in a future not too far away when androids that look exactly like humans begin to spread across the world. The android production company, SA Corp, produced uh, Griftia, <laughs> a new kind of android that has the most amount of emotion and human-like qualities out of any other model ever seen. You know, I want to stop you right here. Androids are humans mixed with robots. They're not just robots. You wouldn't really need to add emotions. The emotions should already be there because they're humans. <laughs> Androids are not... Okay, whatever. Whatever. I. You can call them what you want, okay? However, due to problems in technology... Problems in technology! The androids have a service life, and once they pass that, they... Well, it gets pretty bad. For this reason, SA Corp creates a terminal service in order to retrieve Griftia that has gone past her service life. A new employee at the terminal service named Tsukasa Mitsugaki forms a team with the Griftia Isla to retrieve the other androids, but Ellipsis. I don't really get what you're getting at with the Ellipsis. But what? Prepara 2! <laughs> um, season 2 of Prepara, the story continues with Leela and her friends Miri, Sophie, who are part of the Sola Mix Smile 
Prepara Idol Unit, which is rising in popularity in the Prepara Amusement Park. A new zone called Dream Theater is open, and it's said that when a fateful five-man team filled with charm that performs there, a new event called the Prepara Dream Parade will be held. However, it is known it is known which five people make up the team, and the Prepara Idols scramble to give the greatest performance in the new zone. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Punchline by Mappa. It's an original. Uh, high schooler, yeah. High schooler Yuta Iridatsu has experienced astral projection. His spirit has been separated from his body. He woke up in a mansion named Karaikane and met a cat spirit named Chirinosuke, who told him, You must find the sacred tome of Koriken in order to return to your physical body. While searching through the corridors of Koriken, Yuda bumped into underpants. What? Yuda bumped into underpants of its female residents, and doing so would create some big trouble for planet Earth. What the fuck are you talking about? Why would. I. Fuck you. Shugeki no Soma by JC Staff, a manga adaption. The anime adaption of the Shugeki no Soma manga that centers on Soma, who works with his dad at the family restaurant. His dad is a culinary master and he often hosts cooking battles with his father. His father then enrolls him in an elite culinary school that is very difficult to enter and the graduation rate is only about 10%. That sounds interesting, I guess. I'm always willing to take a crack at a cooking show, see how they do it. Um, show by Rock, two exclamation points, by Bones. A video game adaption. Metropolis of Music, Midi City, a kitty girl wearing gothic Lolita clothing named Cyan is scouted by Maple Ari Segua, the president of a music agency. From there she meets Choo Choo, the honor student rabbit girl, a net geek dog girl named Retori, and an alien sheep girl named Moa. Together they form the band named Plas Magica and aim for the top of the world. Uh-huh. However, the path there is long and tough and keeping in high spirits is important. By battling against other strange bands, Plas Magica slowly grows towards a top grade. Really? Uh, you really think that's a strange band? I've heard of stranger bands than a, a Japanese girl band with animal costume aesthetics. That's damn normal for J-pop. Come on. You can do better than that. Um, by b battling other strange bands, Plas Magica slowly grows towards a top grade band. In the end, they'll be a band that becomes the driving force of Midi City's music industry. Ellipsis, maybe? Question mark. <laughs> um, no, that's, that's just stupid. Um, Cydonia no Kishi. Another season of that ridiculously bad looking 3D show. God damn, that show is ugly. The poster has like a wide shot so that you can't tell how fucking stupid everyone looks close up. Um, Tesagure, exclamation point, Bukatsu Mono, spin off Puru Purun, Sharumu To Asobo, a manga adaption. <laughs> third season of there's third se third season i don't know this how are there three seasons of this i have never seen what are all these shows that i've never even noticed that have three seasons what is this uh triage x by zebek manga adaption mochizuki general hospital both some of the most wait what <laughs> i looked at the cover and you see what i see right do you think the synopsis of this is going to start Mochizuki General Hospital? <laughs> what? Why is there a gun and a, a girl in a swimsuit on a motorbike? What part of that says General Hospital? Please, someone write in. I don't understand. Mochizuki General Hospital boasts some of the most well-trained and well-endowed nurses in town. But though these ladies spend much of their day battling disease, 
Their after hours are spent fighting a very different sort of sickness. Under the leadership of the hospital chairman, a handful of staff members and local teenagers from a group of mercenary assassins targeting the cancers of society and, excise, and excising those individuals before their wickedness spreads. So it's about a general hospital, nurse, staff, as well as some high school kids for no damn reason, uh, working as a vigilante group to kill the, the quote-unquote cancers of society. That is, nurses have a hard enough time without dressing up in skimpy clothing, getting on motorcycles, and you know, fighting crime. No. No. I'm gonna try one episode, but no. Uta no star Prince Sama. Maji Love Revolutions. Woo, third season of something. I, what is this? I don't. What? What? When did. <sighs> Yamada Kun To Seven Nin no Majo by Linden Films. Manga adaption. Ryu Yamada is a second year student at Suzaku High. Ryu is always late for school, naps in class, and gets abysmal grades. His life is a dead bore. The beautiful Urara Shirashi, on the other hand, is Suzaku High's brightest student. One day, without explanation, their bodies are swapped! Exclamation point. Ryu ends up in Urara's body and Urara in Ryu's. And? You can't just end it with a body swap anymore. That is, it's been done so many times. You cannot just end your synopsis with a body swap. If you're not going to go the extra mile and give me a better hook than a body swap, I'm just not going to care. I don't care. I don't care. I want to watch one episode, though. <laughs> um... Naruru, Naruru, exclamation point, exclamation point, Kakusen, Kun 2, by DLE. It's an original. The anime revolves around little creatures called Kakusen, who live in the skin pores of humans. <laughs> Nuru, Nuruo is newborn Kakusen, who is born in the nose. Nuruo is ignorant of the world around him, but he is honest. His hobby is stamp rallies. What? What the hell is a stamp rally? And his dream is to become a government worker. But you're a nose poor thing. How would you become a government worker? I don't... <sighs> Yoraba no Yusagi-chan. Uh, original. And whoever made it is not... No one made it. Anonymous. <laughs> Yurawa no Yusagi-chan is an original series centered around the daily lives of eight girls in junior high school in Saitama Prefecture's Yurawa district. Yusagi, Tokiwa, Minami, Sakura, Midori, Kojika, Saiko, Misono enjoy watching their unique, unique personalities play off against each other as their fun-filled school life unfolds. Um, no one cares. No one cares. Play off each other all you want. Go to town. Vampire Homes. Uh, video game adaption. Um, an anime adaption of the f smartphone game that features a character named Holmes in London, but against his name he is a private detective who does not reason or even explain mysteries. However, he always solves the case requested. What's the fucking point of that? Are you kidding me? Uh, he secretly undertakes a mission from Met the Metropolis Police of London to search vampires. There is no point to having a detective mystery thing that does not explain anything. The entire point of mystery... Fuck you. Fuck all of you. Everyone fuck you. 